Rogue Company, let's talk about it. Uh, this is a early access game, online, competitive shooter. Stop me if you've heard this before. What's so <laughs> special about Rogue Company, Derek? Why is everybody talking about it? Um, well, it's new. It's from hi the guys that brought Paladins, which was a pretty solid game. Mm -hmm. um, still going strong as well. One of my favorites, too. I enjoyed playing that. That was um, like the... Uh, sim a Pretty similar like, to Overwatch, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was okay. like, you know, speaking of watered down versions of games. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no. but it was free to play though, right? Or not? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, I think when I played it, it was free. I think it came out free to play. I don't think that one had an early access. I know it okay. had like the founder packs for it. Um, But this one is in early access right now. There are um, founder packs to get it. I think there's a $15 one, a $30 one, and then a $60 one. Mm -hmm. um the only real difference between them is a couple skins which there aren't many of in the game right now um and then how many characters they give you unlocked from the get-go okay um so it'd be like if you want to check it out go in with that 15 dollar one mm -hmm. you know it gives you a decent set to choose from and then um you can go from there it, yeah, can, um, can you can you break down like how that works like you mentioned different characters are they different classes what's yeah so it's kind of like a light hero shooter type deal okay. so um but the little spin on it is it's four versus four matches but you like buy your equipment at the start of each match so it's got that like light like counter-strike buy-in deal um which has okay. been pretty cool because then each character is kind of set up with like do the weapons they have and stuff. Um, but you can go in and like customize their loadouts. I haven't really got into that because you need to kind of rank up some to unlock some stuff. So I've just kind of been like working on playing and kind of learning the maps and stuff, which are also on the smaller side. And they have two game modes, which is one's like uh, you can plan a bomb and you do it in two different locations. Mm -hmm. And then the other one's kind of just like your classic, like, defend a point. Like, here's this position, take over it, and then defend it. Whoever does it the longest wins. Okay. Um. So it's like, right now, it's like real simple and base, but it plays very well. Um, okay. And this is, this, is a th this is third person, right? Not yes, first person. This is, yeah, this is the other thing, too, is, yeah, it is a, th it's the th a third person game. And okay. there hasn't really been, like, a super solid, like, competitive type one like that in a while. Now... Uh, I did watch some gameplay, but I can't remember. Can you, like, take cover and stuff like that? Yeah, you can, like, oh. crouch down. Like like I said, it's real, like, tight quarter uh, maps. Mm -hmm. And so you can, like, hide behind stuff, and then you can, like, peek over and shoot, shoot around. Um, but it's not, get, like, like a... is it is it, like, Gears of War where you, like, stick to the cover, or is it just... No, no, no it'd no, be okay. more All like right. Call of Duty or just hiding behind stuff. Okay. And, um, but you can, like, peek over stuff, like kind of like aim around the corners it also gives you the option to like switch to shoulder so if you're kind of peeking around corners depending on like how you're positioned mm -hmm. um you, you can peek around and look like that um it's just for early access the core of the game's pretty solid so they have um like they do have a lot of room they can grow with like more maps um mm -hmm. they actually i don't know when the update comes out it might have came out to um, today or yesterday yeah. But they were mm -hmm. adding in a new map because they found that, like, since the maps were so tight squeezed, there's, like, a couple of the uh, heroes or um, long-range builds, but they didn't really work out because a lot of the maps are, like, tight quarters, like, squeezing around, kind of like there isn't room for those long aims. So okay. they kind of brought into one of those maps. Um, and then speaking about the maps, we had Dr. Disrespect return to his streaming finally. And Rogue Company has been his game of choice to return playing. And he has found himself to highly like this game. And he has started to become vocal about actually wanting to design a map for High res Studio for this game. Or at least work with them on some concepts. Um, using his knowledge that he has from being a previous you know, Call of Duty map maker. When he was in oh, the okay. industry uh, doing that. So that's, that could be pretty interesting. And it can be pretty cool if they're like, you know coming into like community like that too, even though he's like one of those big time streamers and all, mm -hmm. uh, but having like somebody that's actually actively playing, playing with the community, bringing people in and playing with them, 
mm-hmm. um, to make a map and all would be pretty cool. Is the is the map going to be called Suck It Twitch? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna. He's gonna say. He's he's gonna have the reason of his ban written on the wall somewhere, and you gotta find it. <laughs> That's right. It's it's hidden yeah. in the cryptic message. The reason that we may never know. Yeah, I did it, and then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I saw this kind of people talking about this game, and when I looked at it, it looked kind of a little bit. Generic looked like it played okay, but it just looked like another third-person shooter. But um, it is an early access, so it's got some some room to grow and um, you know kind of get a distinct look to it. Because even even like the look of it kind of looked kind of bland, like the the environments and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, this kind of looks like a yeah, like kind of like each of them kind of like feels the same. Like they'll each have their little thing that makes it a little bit different. Um, that's why it looks like this new maps, like a lot brighter and more flashy with color and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how that looks and plays out. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, with all that's really important though, is that that shooting feels good, which it seems like they've nailed. Yeah, yeah, no, it feels really good. Like, it took me, like, a little bit of time to kind of, like, tweak the controls, um, Mm -hmm. which they have, like, a bunch of sensitivity options, and you can change, like, every little different sensitivity as far as, like, your sticks and aiming and access Mm -hmm. and all that. So they give you the tools to kind of refine it, make it feel a little bit better. Because, like, I had to tweak a bunch of stuff, and then it felt really good for me. And then, like, my brother hopped in, and my buddy uh, Josh, he hopped in as well, and they were completely fine with how it was default. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Uh, so, Rogue Company. That's uh, well. We, you said you get it on PS4. Uh, it's on yep. PC. Looks like it's an Epic Store exclusive, and it's on Xbox too, right? Yes, and the Switch. Oh, and the Switch. Okay, cool. Yeah, they've got it on everything. Awesome. And fifteen dollars gets you like just the entry level, right? Yeah, I think you've got like three characters unlocked, and then I. Th- I think the $30 one is six characters, and then the $60 version has every character unlocked. Okay. And then it'll I, also give you Do you access. know, do you know, can you go in and buy individual characters? I think so. Okay. Uh, I will, um, I'll double check that, and maybe we can give a little update on that at some point. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if they're updating this, maybe you'll, and you keep, and if you keep playing it, uh, maybe you'll have more to talk about later. Yeah. All right. So that was Rogue Company. Thanks, Derek. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to see more. Check out voxelvoice.com for all of our great content. And consider supporting us on Patreon to keep our content ad-free and independent.